I love this time of year because while we have a lot of cameras that are hard to show because it's so dark, we have Christmas lights that are being strung. A Merry Prairie holiday getting set up here at Connor Prairie. That's the view out of Fishers. We look good. 36 degrees is where we're sitting in Indianapolis. We're at 33 in Peru and 30 in Shelbyville. Now, as we get through the rest of the day, temperatures are going to warm very quickly. By the lunch hour, we'll be in the low 50s and temperatures by the mid to late afternoon in the upper 50s. So near 60 degrees. This is the best day of the week. We'll have lots of sunshine. I say late into the afternoon and on into the evening hours. We'll start to get some clouds on in here, but overall a nice evening too. So if you're going to stay here at home, maybe head out to one of the events we have, the state fairgrounds, the lights set up there or out at the zoo, our evening commute. If you're going to hit the roads this evening and uh, travel locally or regionally, still looking good as we head through the evening hours by six o'clock, lower fifties by seven o'clock. We'll still be in the upper forties again, introducing some more clouds in, but we'll stay dry again today. Live guardian radar are quiet here. We're quiet across the region. High pressure is still in control. And as we look at a few other locations, Florida getting some showers around, even into portions of Georgia and some extra cloud cover there. And then as we look to the north and west, some snow showers moving into Montana, Wyoming, very hit and miss on where we're actually seeing those. So we're really looking at quiet weather across most of the country. It's not until tomorrow morning that we start to see a larger band, larger swath of showers coming in from the south and west. And then as we head towards the evening hours, that's when we'll get the impacts here in Indiana. So for us here, we will see dry conditions for most of the day on Thanksgiving. But if you'll be traveling back uh, from one of our nearby states Thanksgiving Day evening, you could encounter some showers. That would be a little hiccup in your plans. But even then, it's still going to be mainly on the lighter side. Our Thanksgiving is going to look really good. We're looking to see mild temperatures, highs in the mid 50s, a spotty shower possible as we get into the late afternoon, early evening hours. But again, very slim chance for those showers to develop even by the early evening. I'd say better chances by mid to late evening, nine o'clock, and we'll see some widely scattered showers moving on through. Not everybody is going to see rain here tomorrow, but those that do, It'll be mainly on the lighter side that moves out as we head into Friday and Friday. If you're heading out for that circle of lights ceremony, great weather for it. By the time those events start mid 40s, by the time the lights are going to switch on just before 8 o'clock, lower 40s. And again, we will be dry. You don't need your rain gear. We're looking at still some pretty decent weather, even though we have rain chances in the forecast for the weekend. Saturday will still be in the mid 50s. Showers don't arrive until we get into the evening hours, so a lot of dry time for your Saturday. Some widely scattered showers primarily in the morning on Sunday, but some could be lingering into the afternoon and then we'll keep temperatures still pretty mild as we head into next week too.